We're very excited by this, uh, by our new network monitoring product. So just give you a few headlines about it. It is seamlessly integrated into the Pulseway RMM platform that most of you are already familiar with. And it actually uses some of that, uh, it uses a core technology of the platform to make it easy to deploy. And one of the reasons, uh, one of the ways of doing this, why it uses that for, is for automatic device discovery. So we can ensure that we're actually monitoring everything in your network by automatically discovering it. And once it's discovered, it visual, visualizes that network with an intuitive topology map. And I'll talk about that in a second as well. So, uh, and what we do for the discovery is we basically turn the, uh, we use the existing Pulseway agents um, and turn those into probes that then discover your network. But Paul will talk more about that. Um, our top, topology map is color coded. So you can actually visually be alerted to uh, any uh, changes in status. And you can also use the workflow automation that's built into the RMM product uh, to, to do auto remediation uh, on your devices as well as your servers and workstations. And we can, uh, we, we're very excited by this. We can, you can remote control into the devices with SSH as if you're actually on the network, but you can do that from anywhere. Um, and you can also discover uh, any devices that have been newly added. So you can actually check that um, uh, you can check uh, whether, you know, any suspicious devices have appeared. So when we talk about devices, what devices am I talking about? Well, the sort of devices we, we, we mean, the things you'd expect, routers, servers, switches, virtual machines, firewalls, printers, load balancers. In fact, anything with an IP address that's connected to the network. So it actually does really open up the scope of the Pulseway platform to be able to monitor your entire network. Uh, here's an uh, example of a topology map. It is, as I said, automatically generated. Uh, it is uh, color coded. And it uh, allows you to, um, it shows the devices very clearly and where they sit in that network. Um, and it's very easy by clicking on one of these icons to get the, the full device details. But here's the color coding I mentioned. So a green tick means it's a monitored device and it's okay. A red exclamation mark means it's monitored, but there's an error on that device. And a blue circle there means it's to newly, newly added. So in the previous 24 hours, this has suddenly appeared on my network. And what I mean by it's monitored, uh, with network monitoring, you don't actually have to monitor every device you discover. Uh, you elect which ones you want to monitor by actually enrolling them into the product. Um, so, that, so this is where we show they're monitored. Uh, you can view devices from anywhere. The devices are shown on the device, uh, any device is shown on uh, the uh, systems list that you're used to seeing from within the uh, from within the uh, the web product or the mobile product at the moment. So here we go. This is an example of a switch on the web interface, iOS and Android. And so it gives you full access from any device into all those devices on your network. You can select ports to be monitored. Uh, you can set whether you want to have notifications of uh, whether a port is opened or closed. And you can also define SNMP variables to help you uh, monitor you know, very device specific items. Typical example of that would be uh, on a printer. Uh, we want to be alerted to um, you know, paper or ink or things like that. Anything that, uh, anything that a device can throw out an SNMP variable for, we can actually monitor that. And here's an example of uh, the SSH on the mobile and on the web application. So you can actually just use SSH to remotely connect to any device. You no longer have to go to the network, which is quite useful in these times. Uh, you can actually, as if you're in the network, use those, uh, connect to those devices uh, to work. So can you connect as if you were there. So these are some of the key highlights, but I uh, won't steal any more of Paul's thunder. And I'll uh, hand over to Paul now uh, for a demonstration. Thank you very much, Andy. I'm going to be sharing my screen and uh, I'm going to ask everyone to let me know if they can see, if you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Awesome. 
All right. So as Andy mentioned, Postway Network Monitoring is a new module directly part of the Postway RMM offering and will be on top of the existing Postway technology. So it will play well with all the other modules available in uh, Postway. So the primary feature of it is to discover network devices and to let you know when devices are joining or leaving the network. And we use this on top of the existing probes functionality. So from your Postway web application, you're going to be presented with a new menu entry called networks. And from there, you're going to be able to start your trial and uh, start using it. It will also open up a new probes page, which will show you all the discovery probes that you have enrolled. And obviously you'll be able to add new probes as well. Now, once you add the probe here, you are going to be presented with a topology map, a map of the network based on the devices that are visible. In this particular case, there were just three devices. However, I'm going to be showing you over here, a more complex network that shows a switch, some devices that are directly attached to the switch, the router and other systems. In order for Pulseway to identify devices that are part of switches and uh, hypervisors, it will need to have SNMP enabled. As you can see here, it's saying SNMP discovered once you select a, a switch and it will pull up some default uh, SNMP variables for it. So once you discover these devices, you can click on the enroll device to add them, or if they're already enrolled, it's going to be showing you if they have critical or elevated alerts. And for newly added devices in the past 24 hours, it's going to be showing a blue dot as Andy has mentioned. In addition to that, we introduced new notification settings for discovery probes to be notified when new devices are joining the network and to also receive a notification when devices are no longer present in the network for an extended period of time. For instance, uh, you have a printer in the network and it's been offline for the better part of two weeks. It might be malfunctioning or somebody might have accidentally disconnected it and this would help you no, be first to know when things could arrive, could, could potentially be a problem. You will also be able to see enrolled devices for this particular probe. This covers the discovery portion of the this, uh, network monitoring feature. But once you in discover a system and you enroll it, you can specify additional settings. For, for instance, for port monitoring, you can specify in any number of TCP ports that you would like to monitor. You will need to give them a name, a friendly name, in case uh, you are using custom ports. You want to have a name that makes a good representation of what that service is. And then you have various notification options to let you know when the port is closed or when the port is opened. For instance, you might have a management port for RDP or remote control or SSH that you would like to know when the port is opened, just in case a uh, operator forgets to filter that port after they are done using it. And you can also schedule the notification to only notify you if the port is closed for more than, for instance, five minutes, so that you wouldn't be uh, notified so often in case you are running some maintenance or systematic reboots of those particular services. In addition to port monitoring, we're doing SNMP monitoring, which supports all three versions of SNMP. And for version three also supports of privacy and authentication. And once you enabled SNMP, you will be able to enter the OIDs, the unique identifiers for the variables that you would like to monitor. This is the initial version of uh, SNMP monitoring. We will be providing SNMP templates depending on the device. For instance, uh, Cisco devices or printers or HP or uh, other built-in uh, device templates. So later on, you're going to be able to select, this is a Cisco switch and we will pre-populate for you 
there are SNMP variables and also notification rules. For instance, if there's a printer, you might want to be notified when the toner levels are decreasing. So then you can hook it up into an automation workflow. So you will be able to notify the person on site that they need to place an order for new cartridges. Uh, in terms of management, we're doing SSH. You will be able to provide a port where the SSH is running in case you're running custom ports and the username and password for authentication. We also support private key authentication. So if you select the private key, you have the option of putting the private key over here. Finally, you will also have an option to receive a notification when the device is offline. Now it's important to notice that these uh, devices, they're being monitored and managed through the probe. So if the probe would be offline, then also the device would also be marked as offline. We are also introducing the concept of backup probes in a future release, where the, should the probe go offline, also we automatically switch to a backup probe for monitoring. But in the event that the device does go offline and the probe is still online, Postway will notify you that the device has gone offline and you will be able to tie that in into automation workflows. Additionally, if the probe goes offline, we will not be sending the device offline notification, but we will notify you that the probe is offline and consequently we cannot monitor uh, network devices. So this particular device is already enrolled. I'm going to go here and we can see it. It's showing up as a Pulseway registered system. You will also have the same visibility on the mobile device over here. And you can see ports and their statuses. In this case, the HTTP port is open and the HTTPS port is closed. You can see SNMP variables in real time. And you can also take commands through SSH sessions. We're going to open it in the web interface as well. So we can type in S. It is possible that this particular device is having a moment. Let's try it from here. There we go. We're going to close the session and open it again. There we go. So the same level of management is available across all Pulseway clients, web application, and all mobile applications. So you will be able to do your job from anywhere you are at that time, be it on the phone, on the tablet, anywhere, anytime. And the beauty of this is you no longer need to pull up your tablet or phone, connect to the VPN, and establish an SSH connection from there. You just say SSH, you don't need to enter a username and password. It just authenticates, it's secure. It goes through your entire Pulseway um, established access control list. You can share read-only access with certain users. You can share full access. And it just plays well with other Pulseway features, including uh, automation. Should a port get closed, you can have uh, a workflow fire whenever the device port gets closed to send uh, an email to a an, an device administrator. Or you can also, in the future, we will also be supporting executing automation scripts through SSH for network devices. So for instance, you have a system that uh, the service goes stopped and you get a port stop notification. 
you will be running a restart service command through SSH directly into the network device. In addition to this, the next features that we plan on adding are remote web admin proxying. So if you have a switch or a router or a printer that is um, managed and monitored through Pulseway, you are going to be able to see the web interface, web management interface directly on the phone and tablet. So that even if you are outside of the site and there is a problem, let's say that this would be a print server and it has on the port 8080 uh, management interface, you would be able to access it directly from Postway. You're going to be able to specify, this is the port, this is the path prefix, these are the basic authentication credentials that you, I would need to provide. And it will open and relay all the web page contents directly on mobile devices. That is the next feature that we plan on adding in addition to notification templates for devices. So pricing. Um, the list price is $99 per month, which is gives you the core uh, functionality of network monitoring. So that includes- uh, We are not seeing your screen. Aren't you? No. Okay, that's, there we go. Now. Yes, I can see Yes, that. sorry about that. So yes, price is $99 per month for the core module. That gives you the discovery topology mapping, the notification engine, the remote control. So it gives you the basic infrastructure, but it also includes 20 monitored devices. You don't. We don't charge you for every device that your probe finds. We only charge you for those that you elect to monitor. So, uh, and then if you need to monitor additional devices, they are charged at your usual tiered pricing for a workstation. So if you have uh, you know, 500 workstations, you'll be priced at that, you know, it'll just be bundled in as a workstation. So it could actually put you into a, a different category uh, at a cheaper per unit price. Um, but uh, at, the, um, at the moment, we do have a special launch offer available. If you talk to uh, a rep, we can give you a, uh, a discount off that uh, core module and it's, uh, the salespeople will talk to, talk to you about that. Um, uh, and this will be for the month of November and, and it will lock in the price for the future as well. So I suggest you talk to your rep if you're interested uh, uh, in the next month, uh, and we can do you a, a deal on the pricing, but it is core price, $19 per month, for 20 monitored devices and additional devices are at the workstation price, which is typically a <clears> dollar <throat> something uh, a, a month. And just to, st uh, to start a trial, um, we have started rolling this out to uh, some customers. I saw one question earlier of someone who didn't actually have the network option uh, in the menu, uh, but that will be appearing if it's not appearing there now it will be uh, later, so there's a network menu, um, and you'll see an overview um, option. And if you go to the overview and you start, there's a button there to, to start your free trial. Um, and that's as simple as that. If you do that, you will automatically uh, uh, trigger the trial start process. And then uh, I just begin 14 day free trial. If you are not an existing Pulseway customer, you can ask for a trial uh, on our website, pulseway.com, and you'll automatically get access to network monitoring as part of the trial of the full RMM. Because once again, network monitoring is not a standalone product. It is built into the RMM as it uses a lot of the same fundamental uh, architecture. So with that, uh, I'll hand you back to Paul.